Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A couple of days ago, if you're using Firefox, I'll let you know that Firefox was finally going to be getting new web apps, taskbar tabs, on Windows, and I showed you how to enable those. Video will be linked. Now, my reason for mentioning that previous video is, as I have been talking about on the channel for months now, Mozilla is now starting to bring Firefox more in line with other mainstream web browsers. And another feature now that Mozilla is going to start working on to bring the browser in line with other Chromium-based web browsers and mainstream web browsers is support for MKV, Matroska Video, which, as you may well know, is one that has been around for quite some time and is known for its high quality and flexibility and has been supported by many web browsers. So yes, once again, Mozilla's efforts to try and bring the browser back in line with those other browsers as mentioned. Now this is all according to a Bugzilla post, which by the way was opened eight years ago. And we can see it was updated two hours ago. And Mozilla is at the stage now of a technical brief that it's published about the Matroska support in Firefox. And this is the brief. Last updated 25th of August 2025. Now, yeah, they give us a summary of what the actual format is all about. It says Matroska MKV is a modern, flexible multimedia container format widely used by media enthusiasts and in open source communities. It is capable of holding video, audio, and subtitles in a single file similar to MP4 but with broader codec support. Now, Mozilla says, why should it support Matroska in Firefox? The primary reason is compatibility and demand. It says Chromium-based browsers already play MKV. Lack of native support leads to playback failures, downloads instead of play and manual transcoding. Many users, it says, have been asking for first-class MKV playback. And the second reason is basically it provides an open, stable specification for long-term interoperability. Those are the two main reasons. Now, if we scroll down, the implementation plan, the whole plan, will be a small task, Mozilla says. The estimation of the implementation will take one to two months. So, if that is the case, we are currently sitting on Firefox version 142 in the stable channel. So, give or take, by 144, according to that statement, we should be seeing MKV support rolling out to the stable version of Mozilla Firefox. So, this could be another incentive for users who have left Firefox for maybe this specific reason to head back to the browser in due course. So, once again, as mentioned, this is another effort by Mozilla to bring the browser in line with other mainstream web browsers. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.